Hey guys, today on Bad Luck Garage, we're going to be decapping the fuel injectors on our LS Swap C10 project. <laughs> I like to sit down and, you know, first I'll take all the O-rings and caps off, you know, then I'll do this, then I'll do that. So anyway, uh, and I'm not showing you anything here that you haven't seen in probably, you know, two or three other videos. If you're, uh, if you're looking for a video on decapping injectors, I mean, there's tons of them out there, and they're all pretty much the same. I mean, you know, you got your, uh, you got your uh, little O-ring here, and you got your cap. Okay, so first thing you do, you want to take this O-ring off. So I like to just, I've got this little pick tool. I don't even know where I got it actually, but um, you know, you just slide your. Uh, I don't know if that's going to focus or not, but you just slide your tool, your pick under there. You could probably use like a little precision screwdriver, you know, pop your O-ring off. Um, next thing you got to get this cap off and uh, it wobbles. You'd think it would just pull right off, but it doesn't. So what you do is you just take a very large flathead screwdriver and you just twist twist and turn it and twist you know you just you work your way around the I'm, I'm trying to get this for you guys so you can see but it's kind of hard to see you know you just keep working your way around there and twisting the screwdriver and eventually there it goes you know the oh well I guess it didn't my bad one more spot here there it goes you know cap just pops right off now, I, I just want to make a comment. Let's see if you can focus on that. Um, the biggest argument against decapping these is, um, you know, that you're going to mess up your spray pattern. Well, if I was using, like, say, the, the injectors out of the LS3, um, those injectors, they make, like, a really pretty fan spray, real nice fan spray. You know highly atomized um but these are truck injectors guys and i don't know if you can see if you can see i mean it, these truck injectors just have two little holes now if this was a ls3 injector uh, i think they've either got four or five little bitty holes like that so they they really put out a you know a, a nice fan uh these don't guys even uh you know even in stock form like this before you decap them um it's it's not exactly a fan spray it's basically you know two pencil sprays that slightly fan out a little bit but um you know you've got if it sprays for a foot it's going to fan out a little but um it, they're not spraying for a foot inside your engine anyway you know that's the the bottom line is inside the engine these things are spraying for a couple inches and um, if you look up videos of, of these injectors these truck injectors being tested um, don't look at the the full tube that they're spraying in look at the first two inches and you're gonna see basically what you're getting is is you know two little streams pissing out I mean you're you're not getting a a fan an atomized fan spray at the two inches that these are spraying from your intake manifold to the back of your valve so I really wouldn't worry about that too much um, now I actually I, as I mentioned earlier uh, I got this idea from uh, the sloppy mechanics uh, YouTube page and uh, you know he even shows where uh, the guy that I'm probably going to be sending these to you know where he tested them and uh, they basically, once they're decapped, they put out the same type spray pattern as like a Deca Siemens injector. Um, you know, it's it's more like a pencil stream. Um, now I would say, I'm not going to say it's not going to cause any issues. Uh, I would imagine that it, you know, idle may be kind of hard to tune, but uh, beyond that, I'm not even worried about it, guys. The, the fact of the matter is I'm doing this because, number one, I need to have these injectors tested because they're, you know, they're making a lot of noise. So I want them tested. 
and since I have to have them tested anyway, it's the same price to have a set of stock injectors tested and flowed as it is to have a set of decap injectors tested and flowed. So I need bigger injectors anyway. I'm running at 116% duty cycle when I'm at uh, 6,000 RPMs. And I'm actually, you know, I've, I've been short shifting my engine because these injectors aren't keeping up and I don't want to go lean. I don't want to risk one of them getting hung open. So um, this is my, my budget answer for the moment. Somewhere down the road, I hope to buy a set of good injectors. But um, for now, this is what we're dealing with. Next thing we need to do is we've got this metal ring here that goes all the way around. Where I'm pointing. Now this is part of the cap that holds this little end piece on. So the best way everybody's found, some people just go ahead and grind, you know, start their grind there, grind it off. But find using a, a just a really small pair of side cutters is the easiest way to get the the ring off around the edge. You know, basically you just start it like that. And I mean, it comes off fairly easily. You just go around it and pull, and go around it and pull. And uh, this is actually the sixth one I've done. One of them I was able to take the whole thing off in one piece. Oh, not that one. Let's see when it starts coming off. There's a little bit left on there. See that? I wish this camera would autofocus a little faster, but. You get the picture, I think. Anyway, you just want to get that off. It would be nice if you could just pull that off and the whole cap would come off. But, <clears throat> you know, apparently uh, they didn't want to make that <laughs> make it that easy for us. So, anyway, just uh, get that ring around. Here, you can see. Here's one I haven't done. Just so you can see what I've taken off see around the edge how this one's still got the cap on it and that one we've taken that cap all the way off okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to grind away and again I'm trying to focus here basically what you have what you're trying to do is get rid of this whole cap right here now I don't know if this was somehow stamped on or, or welded on or brazed on or what but uh, you see this little outer circle here everything from there in has to come off it's basically just a cap well you want to grind off from here to about right in here somewhere once you get that that weld ground off that's all the way around that then this cap in the center will just fall right off so we're going to work on that next well i tried this two different ways um, i tried using a dremel tool first and um, it was just taking forever so i decided to just use my uh, my bench grinder um, and what i noticed with the bench grinder is the results were a lot nicer i, I mean don't get me wrong people it's it's you know this doesn't have to be pretty you just got to get the cap off but um if i can get this to focus you can see this is the one i did with the bench grinder well i actually finished the other one with a bench grinder too so i really don't have anything to compare to but you know i've got a nice little conical shape all the way around it you know almost looks like it came that way now here's one that has not been decapped yet so you can see the difference you know the the uh, what's it called pintle uh, is exposed now and it's can you know so it can just flow as much as it wants to um, I'm gonna show you doing one of these basically I mean it's not rocket science what I what I tried to do I tried to use the Dremel first like I said and um, using the Dremel it was just really awkward and you know it was cutting weird angles and I didn't know where I'd cut deep enough where I have not with the bench grinder, you basically, you angle it, um, you know, you want to angle it about like so, 
you know, you just put it at an angle about like this and you just, as long as you prop your hand up on, on the bench grinder guard and just keep it uniform spinning around, it literally takes like 20 seconds, you know, if you've got it in, on there at the right angle and you'll see the cap once you work your way all the way around, the cap will just go boom and it'll go flying off. Uh, like I said, I've done I've done these two so far and uh, I don't even know where the cap went, but uh, really easy guys. Uh, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But um, let me see if I can figure out some way to hold this camera and I will just demonstrate doing one of these on the grinder really fast. You know, when I turn this thing on, you're not going to be able to hear me, but you know, basically what I'm doing is I'm just propping my finger up here and trying to get the right angle and just turning a perfect circle and by the time I get it all the way around that that cap just pops right off so we'll go ahead and do one The first couple that you do, uh, you're kind of paranoid about getting too close to the middle. Um, but when you're when you're grinding on these things, I mean, they're going to be almost straight up and down, and it has to be like that, you know, in order to get to to get that weld off of there. But um, you know, they're all done now. Every one of them is uh, decapped, and I'm just waiting to hear back from. Uh, I'm probably going to go with uh, Eric Durr at Durr uh, Fuel Injection Services. Um, that's, uh, you know, like I'd said a couple times before already, um, I, I kind of got this idea from Sloppy Mechanics. Uh, so that's who he used. Uh, it seemed like he was really reasonably priced, and, and I liked how he, you know, he sent all the flow sheets and everything. So. Okay, so we got our stock fuel injectors decapped. Um, we're going to get those packaged up. You can see them in the background here. We're going to get them shipped off, uh, get them flow tested. I'm going to do a follow-up video to this one when I get them back, and uh, we'll go over the flow sheets and, and you know see what these guys made. I've heard that you know there's as much as 4% variance in between the injectors. I'll address what I'm going to do uh, as far as dealing with that variance. Uh, ideally, you would like to take, uh, you know, send off a batch of injectors, not just eight. Maybe send off sixteen, and then pick the eight that are that are closest in flow. But I've got a little plan to to deal with that uh, that variance. So if you like this video, uh, hit the like button, and if you want to know when the follow ups out, uh, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get a uh, email letting you know when the next video is out. So. Until next time, this has been Bad Luck Garage.